Hello, I'm in Trilisim. Welcome back, of course, to Transport Fever 2, where we've just unlocked some planes and we're going to have a bit of a go around with airfields. Uh, now, in between episodes, I've done some work. I've completely changed up how buses work over here because they just weren't making money. So instead, we now have a north bus route that goes around here and a south bus route around here with a lot less people on them. And you can see we've got three and two, and I think they might even be making money. Let's look at what's on the screen. Yeah, they're making money. Not very much, but they are making money. Uh, I've done the same with Fanian, made that one bus route. I've also had a rejig of all the lines. So over here, you can see that we actually have a much more elaborate setup for our train tracks. Uh, what we've effectively done is I decided, hey, I don't actually have room here to merge these train tracks and then get them onto the main line because they'll slow down. So what I've done is I have them all in a row. And then they also cross each other as four go this way, but they actually even then merge together into two, which then have a crossover point and then merge together on both sides of the line and the same down here. So what you have is that four lines go this direction. They merge into two. Those two connect to each side, but there is a crossover in the middle, which doesn't even need to be a double step, so that's fine. Uh, and that means that they can go a lot faster around there. In fact, if we look at the speed, we should see they're coming off here going... 40 is an exception there, but mostly we're talking about 50. Coming in here, they do slow down, but they're going to come into the station anyway, so them slowing down isn't too much of an issue. Uh, the main issue of slowing down is that you then have to speed up afterwards. It's not actually the, hey, I'm at 30, that's not bad. It's the, hey, I'm at 30 and now I need to speed back up to my top speed. It doesn't matter, they're going to the station. So that's fine. Uh, I've also redone this interchange over here. I've completely redone it. You can see that we don't have that overpass anymore. What instead we have is a line that just crosses here. And I think it crosses it at a full 75 miles an hour. Yeah. So this train, when it comes out of here, could go um, 60 here and then power straight through. In fact, we can actually watch this in real time. Look at that. Much neater, cleaner. We have got a train waiting here. I might end up having to put a few more tracks on this just because we do have a lot of uh, wood cars going past and we do end up with stuff like, you know, passenger cars waiting. And here you go. 31 miles an hour, which is your top speed. We'll have to upgrade our engines at some point. But it doesn't take you long to clear that because you're going on at your full speed. Um, we've mostly got the same as we had before up here. My only concern is that with wood trains coming down here and then turning off, that is adding a bit extra that we don't necessarily need to do. Uh, we could probably run a parallel track, which is only for wood trains. Uh, the problem is that the wood train is technically on this side of the track and then crossing here. So we'll have to see about that. Sorry, I'm very sniffly at the moment. The other thing that I've redone is actually a pretty big project. I've completely redone this interchange, this station, this station, and this station. You'll see that this is completely new. Uh, what I did is effectively say, hey, this was going too slow a speed if we're going to end up making this actually part of the loop going up to Fanian, which I've removed for now. Um, you can see that we've actually got dead end track there. If we're actually going to do that, I want this to be fast. Not only that, but we're going to end up having people come to the steel. And if we're going to have people come to the steel, they need to be able to get in and out fast because I want steel going over to here eventually. I don't want that slowing down. So I added a station for Revisioniston because we're going to have one of those eventually. And I'm using this new layout, which is we have a passenger platform, a cargo platform, and we have two lines in the middle, which are our passing lines. So instead of going around the edge, which means that we have to curve off, I've got them going straight through. And instead, it's these lines here. Oh, hello. What are you waiting for? Oh, you're waiting for you to clear that. Yeah. So what instead we have is two lines going through the center. What we might want to do is actually put waypoints in here somewhere. I don't know. Nah, probably fine. Uh, we've done the same here, feeding in. In between, I have made it so that they merge. There is also a cross point here so they can get to anywhere. And there's actually then an unused cargo platform here. That's going to be for steel so that we can pick up steel and go back that way. Um, 
then pulls up here. You know, we've got the siding down there. A very slow turn here so he can keep speed. And then up here, back to there. This over here, again, pretty nice curve. Keep speeds high. If we have a look at this, you'll see that 75 throughout this. 69 is up here, but 65 here. Going through the center, we're at 75s. We do slow down to 33s if you want to pull off, but again, if we're pulling into a station, uh, over here, pulling out the station, we hit 31, but you're pulling out a station 26 there if you want to cross over. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with this layout, and it actually looks pretty compact and tight. I did have to move around a load of the stations. Obviously, the steel station was down here, and we kind of went past that and then up here. So instead, we've got one major line which feels a lot neater. And I think it's going to be a lot better for us in the long term. Uh, in fact, I think that we have a lot of trains who are moving so fast these days that they end up waiting in places. But yeah, here we go. You've been waiting there for a while. You've got another train behind you. I'm going to just make your max wait time three minutes for now. Okay. So... With that said and done, and that completely revised, which I'm very, very chuffed with. I do like the, the bit of a change there. This is also a nice change, I think, as well. How many people we got waiting? Ah, that's fine. Ooh. Okay, so you want to actually come out and you're going at the same time. I assume you're going into different stations. What platforms? Same station, do it. Look how easy that was. And then drop off everyone. Pick people up. Perfect. Now you'll need to wait for you to actually clear this. I didn't put any points on here, mainly because if someone came down to a point and then stopped, it could block someone coming out. So that's the one downside of this setup, is that we have to wait for someone to fully clear this section of track. And it being a big section of track, that's a bit more difficult. And you're getting speed now. So let's play around with airfields. I know that was a big talk about what I'd done in between episodes, but I I spent a long time on this. It wasn't so I could really do in an episode because it was a lot of micromanagement, going back and forth, changing little subtle things. But we're going to do planes today. And we want to start with a passenger airfield. And I want to put one up here. This is our biggest town right now, Kitchester. Uh, obviously, Dahl Green is pretty big and we will be growing Dahl Green. But if we want to go from like one end of the map to the other, Kitchester. So... Where to put this? I think here. Make it line up. As best I can. There we go. Lovely. Now, we're going to need, of course, another airport. Otherwise, people would just be landing when they took off. Actually, we could add a cargo hangar. This is passenger only at the moment. Yeah, we'll just do another passenger for now. We'll see what we want to transport. Um, I think we go to Collodine. I would tempted by Mitchley, but unfortunately, Mitchley is, you know, not much space around it. Jennings is possible, but it's a tiny, tiny place. This from Dragonsville is actually pretty tempting. Hell, we could transport bread. Not that we have much car capacity, but bread is one of the things that we're producing a lot of over here and we're having trouble distributing. Maybe food for thought for future. Food for thought because it's food, yeah? But sorry, I had to be said. If you want, the unsubscribe button's right there. It's gonna happen more, I'm not gonna lie. I can't be stopped. 
Right, how about... That? Can't actually connect. Oh, no, nope, no, nope, we can't. And it actually fits in there. Neat. Right. New line. Look at that big loop, because it comes out here, has to go around and come back. I'm going to send you all the way over to here. And we're going to call this uh, Air Passengers. Colodin to Kid. Okay. By vehicle. Junkers F13. Capacity 3. Cargo type passenger. Pretty high emissions. We'll buy one for now. Let's have a look. I was wondering why it looked such like a modern plane in uh, 1920. It must be one of the very early monoprop. What do you call it? Uniplane? Einplane? Single plane? Just like a single wing. As opposed to a biplane. Mm. Mm. That's the word. Monoplane. It's a monoplane. Right, coming into taxi. Taking off easily there. Gonna get a lovely uh, over the top shot, I think. This is quite beautiful. And I love how the engine noise kind of varies, right? Well, obviously, in takeoff, you need a lot more power, and now we're traveling, we're just like, hey, we're just cruising. That's dull green down there. All kinds of fancy. Might want to pull up. Might want to pull up. Might want to pull up! Oh, God! What? Yeah! No! Oh, ah! Yeah! Ah! Okay. What? I'm not sure this game's ready for mountains. Okay. Do we have anyone who wants to travel? I wouldn't. That's scary. Dan said, is he not serving very much of the city? Any of you have bus lines? Hmm. I guess we could just leave you running for now. Maybe people will turn up eventually. I doubt it. You don't actually have a very large surface area. Um, let's look at the configure for you. Main building, passenger terminal, cargo terminal, hangar. Can we not build extra runways? Interesting. Okay. I've got a horrible, horrible little cold going on right now. Sorry about that. So, today I want to get started on our COG production. I'm going to call it COG because machine is going to be too long to put into our little uh, summary in the line name. So we're going to work on COG production. 
First things first, we want to go and provide it with steel, which mm, relatively easy. Uh, and then we want to provide it with wood. A little bit harder because we're going to need to be able to go from here to here to here, which means we need to cross this line. And not just that, we need to then get it down to here. I think we'll also probably want to go to Shadowland. Kind of makes me think that we'll probably do a passing through station like we did over here. And if we did that passing station probably on this side. We could do a passing station here. Then you'd come at an odd angle. Yeah. Okay. So. Building. Uh, start with the normal passenger station. And there. Okay. Now for you, we're going to want it to be a cargo station. I'm going to want to try and line it up, but we also want to try and bring it far enough back that we have a big turn available. And merging points. Now, what do we do over here for the merge points? We just merge down to two. That's fine. That's relatively easy. It might be more complicated on you because I think we'll need plank, steel, um, cog, and two passings. So we might need an extra station, which makes it substantially more complicated. But I think we can transport to there. Let's check this. Okay, maybe the other way around. Yep. Right. Configure. One, two, three, four. Cargo platform. Cargo building. That should be you done. Now for you. I do wish it was just a little bit more responsive when you do this kind of thing. Obviously, now the auto is kicking in. That's fine. But like, there's a good half second between when you press a button and when it actually builds the thing. There we go. So that's plank, cog, steel, passing. Okay. It's a 56. Not the greatest. I wish I could just clone the station. You know what? I'm going to play around moving the station for best practices. I just wish you could just move it or even hell, just copy paste or something like I would kill to be able to do that. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna rebuild it and move it location. And I'm just gonna try and line it up as best I can. Maybe even move it a bit further back and extend this as far away as possible. Um, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that just off screen, so you don't have to see me just moving this very slowly because it will take uh, a few attempts. 
Okay, not as sad as I thought, because I used a cunning plan, which is I deleted the station, and then I just took the track and extended it straight, and then put this next to it as a guide. So, actually perfect. Really happy with that. So, we'll connect you up. Uh, because these are so close, I will... I don't want the catenary, no. We're not even, I don't know what that is yet, really. Nope. I want to connect all the way. Not strictly necessary, but since they are so close. Right. Coming out of the station, we just give it a little bit more length because technically you can have a slightly longer train. And then turn. Turn. We want to do a cross there. Questions, what are we on this side? Um, cross like that. Cross like that. And then have you cross in like that. Right. We will just extend you out a little bit. There we go. And have you merge in. Yeah, you need to not be merging with this outside lane, really. You need to be merging the inside lane. But we can allow that. We'll do another one there. I know we've got this cross coming up, but just in case. Right, and you need a cross, so... Not enough room? Go a little farther. And there we go. Beautiful. That should work a charm. Now, the relatively simple stage, hooking up on the left and right up here. Uh, I think we'll do the right first. I don't like doing this underground because it's a royal pain. But that is pretty high speed throughout. We'll take it. We'll take that one. And then we're going to need to hook up to here. Now, it's also relatively important, like, what are we going to do with the planks? It might well be that we end up having another offshoot here. But for now, I think it's going to have to come off around... Around here. Well, the problem is we need to give the planks room. Because we've got to give the room station... Uh, we need to give the planks room for a station. It might well be that if we can, we put the station on the main line like we did over here. Just make that our thing. In fact, I wonder if we can. How far away can we get the station and you'll still connect? I think we could get that on the main line. Very quickly. Uh, build 
ourselves a cargo station. I know this is a bit further out, but we can bring that round a bit further. It's connected. Okay, configure. Now, technically we might not need the second platform, but I'm gonna put it in anyway, just in case. I'm getting to that stage where I really, really wish we could just save a platform and then just build that specification. Um, Cause I actually just want to build the same again up here. Oh. Mm, no. No. Yeah, you, you build that for me. That's lovely, but it's not exactly what I want. I want passing in the middle. I appreciate the effort. It won't let me build that, which is a shame because that's exactly what I want. connection here 75 brilliant seventy five and we will need to just bring this a little bit further out go. Alright, standard over here. Give it a gap. Put a cross in the middle. Can't do that because there is a road there. Road is the worst. Ruining all my fun. Too much slope. Really? You know what? Sorry, Road, but you can be dealt with in other ways. and then over here and then traveling across to here Construction isn't possible. Is it because of some sort of slope? <sighs> Might well be. I'm getting to understand the game. Not understanding why sometimes, but understanding how it's going to complain to me. Right. 
And then over here. Give it a little bit more room because I think it's got a slope issue going to crop up. There we go. Right. That's actually really neat. I, I love this design now. It's made it so much simpler to do stuff. Uh, we will probably want to peel off about here. I'm guessing it'll be. The issue we'll have is that road is a pain. But technically, that 75 is allowed. So I'm going to accept it. the car that's gonna get stuck in the middle. I pity the fool. Right. You're all hooked up. We're actually actually pretty good right now. Uh, we could actually start populating you with trains. Now before we do that I do want to do these. And it's important to enforce one way when coming out of these as well. You just need to do it once or twice. You don't need to do it everywhere. And provided you enforce that one-way nature, the game is generally relatively forgiving. Now, I tend to enforce one way here because this cross means that they can technically avoid it if they are traveling to the other side. Then we turn off one way for these outside lanes because I honestly don't care what they're doing on there. It's a bit close to the station, but... <laughs> um, up here, that's good. That's good. There we go. And then we've got to do one around here. This is the worst one because doing them inside this tunnel is always a real pain. You have to try and guess where the track comes off. Exactly. Right there. There. And I think we'll actually just put one there and then delete oh even more fun is trying to delete them I see you ah and what's the other one I, I can see you right there there we go just have to sometimes blow up a tree right This should work. I'm going to set up some lines and I'm also going to do that off screen because I want to try and figure out the ratio exactly and then we'll start populating them with trains. Okay, so with uh, a few crashes, uh, I've managed to put in the lines. I've also had to make a slight adjustment to the track where I noticed that there was a problem. So you'll notice that over here we have a cargo platform with wood which is pretty simple if we select that. You'll notice that we go from here to here, from here to here, now to here. So we're going twice with wood to plank because you need two wood for a plank and then once from plank to here for cogs. We also have a steeled cog, which is literally just here using the uh, offshoot to the side, which uh, was designed for steel anyway, all the way down to here. And that's all it does. It doesn't do anything else. Uh, you might say, hey, isn't that wasteful? Uh, that's because our train cars at the moment can't have cogs. Or steel bars in the same car. 
which is frustrating because I'd love if you could bring steel back and then take cogs and then bring steel back, but you can't do that. So we'll need a separate line, a separate train. Then we have our cog run. This is actually a little bit more complicated. So we start at Shadowland North. On the main line, we pick up cogs. We then go to Shadowland. We drop the cogs off. We then go to Dahl Green. We drop more cogs off. We then go to Fanian. This is going to need some real work. Look how big, busy this line is. Uh, we go to Fanian. We drop more cogs off. We then take the line I've just fixed and resurrected all the way down here. And then into Revisionistan. And then all the way back. So we'll actually tell you to wait there until full. And we'll tell you to wait there for like three minutes. Uh, you know, maybe even more. I don't want to block the line, though. I just stick for three minutes at the moment. You definitely gonna need to wait for about three minutes, though, for steel. Right. Now. We're going to select you. Train depot. We're going to buy a train. And we'd have to use the 75 bad, I think. Still our best option. Um, you're tempting, but ultimately I don't think we need the extra expense, so it's going to be the bad. Then we will want to buy wood and steel. Perfect. Uh, and planks. 160 meters precisely. Okay. In which case, we will grab four of you for 28 million. I'm going to limit to here and we're going to put you on steeled cogs. The rest of you, we're going to put on wood planked cog. And then we're going to buy a new vehicle and you're going to be for cogs. So box cars it is. Ah, 62, too long. Okay. We'll just buy one for the moment. And you are cog run. Okay. That was a lot of money. We just laid down like 40 mil on trains. Here they come. Glorious. Oh. Look at the names on these platforms. I really do. Okay, already starting to sprint out. Oh. It's a little bit busy around here. We did put you on a pretty busy corner. Have we jammed? Oh, no, you're waiting for you to move. Okay. All right, you're clear. There's a lot of trains need getting out. I think you're going to end up waiting... Who are you waiting for? Ah, that one. Hmm. That's tough. The center line is technically not a station, so it's causing some slight differences as people pass through. All right, and here is our boxcar coming out. Thank you, Autosave. You might well save my life there. Okay. Where are you going, my friend? Yeah. There we go. Ah, your brick train. Which means you are the one I'm looking for. Yeah, come here, come here. There we go. Steel to cock. And you've gone to the wrong location to begin with. Okay, fine. 
ist es fein. Oh, wait, you aren't connected. It would help if you were connected. There we go. Should have been building that lumber up for a while now. Instead, I haven't. Because I'm smart. Now, while you fill up with wood there, are you not waiting on this line? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. I did actually put waiting on the line, and then the game crashed, as you expect these days, really. This is the main line, so you want waiting for like a minute. This is going to cause some uh, blockages, by the way. Like, anyone coming back is going to be blocked by this train. I don't really mind at the moment. We've got enough money to float us. Uh, so one of the things I had to correct was we didn't have a crossing point. I've added that here. We didn't actually have enough room to put this crossing point in, so it meant I had to remove this and this line and connect them a bit further up. So this speed here is, instead of being 75, is now about 69. Uh, fine. Uh, not even the speed we're going to hit at the moment, but for future it might be relevant. But it did mean that I needed to make some adjustments because I completely forgot to put this crossing point in. It meant that if you came into a station on this side to drop off cargo, you couldn't actually get to the correct lane as you left. So, whoops. Everything else should be okay. You're here waiting for steel. Now, here's the thing. You're still level one. You should level up to level two considering how much stuff we've got for you, I think. Because we're currently shipping 100, right? That's because you can accept 100. When you level up, you will take 200. Then you'll take 400 eventually, right? When you start taking that sort of level, 300, 400, this should start wanting to produce more, which means you'll level up. Because right now, you're only taking about 50% of what is being offered by these places. Look at that, shipment, 200. I'm not sure if I actually need two trains on this line. Might be overkill. In fact, we can check. Um, actually, maybe we do. One might not be enough. Weird, but true. Oh, you know how we could improve this. We just run a second line. I don't know why this doesn't occur to me before. Um, can we run a second line that way? And then we make your first pickup uh, drop off on this point. And that means that you should, in theory, take this line, which will free up the main line. So you'll come out onto this, into here. You'll then come out back. Hell, we could even split the wood between the two platforms if we wanted. Although you shouldn't have planks on you right now. 
Hopefully that's something you'll sort out. Uh, are you going to cross here? Yes, so you didn't take this line. Okay, well, that's actually something we can solve. Uh, we just need to go here. Waypoint. Rename you, and you are going to be the um, Shadow uh, Wood Bypass. Oh, hello. Oh, you've gone head to head. Okay, I think we need to put that in. Also gonna have to wipe out most of this and redo it. So you start off here. You then go to this waypoint, then to here. Then you go back. Then to here again. And this time you use the other platform. And then you go to here. Yes. Okay. Load wood to 100%. Unload lumber. Okay, that should do it. Why are you going to Drakenford? Oh, do you want me to reverse you or something? Oh, nope, you get confused because I've got a one way there. Yeah, you're going to turn around. I don't even know exactly where you're going to do that. We should maybe put like a little turning place or something. It's good practice to have a couple of these every now and again. Just if I do need to turn a locomotive around, it can just change sides. Now, we are going both on that terminal. We could split between two terminals. Probably a better idea. Okay, you go in. Where are you going? I think you need turning around as well. And boop. one. This is just a very unlucky train there. Now where are you going? I'm 
trying to figure out what these trains are doing. Like, someone's going to have to cross to here. It, hopefully, it's going to be you. Yep, there we go. Why are you not unloading? There's something wrong with this path. Why are you not unloading? Okay. You've loaded a whole bunch of planks, that's great. Very curious about that. I'm actually going to pin both of these trains. Come here. There we go. There we go. Three quarters of a million there. And then we should see, there we go, there's our crates appearing. You're waiting there for more planks, which is fine. bypass line on the other side as well. Wait, why are you doing that? Why are you not crossing to this waypoint? Interesting. Why didn't you go to the waypoint? Your track says you do, but you didn't go there. Your track lied to me. You should be leaving soon. You've got maximum waiting time. One minute. Why is this track lying? Also, why aren't you leaving? Like, you really should be going. I might just engineer this bit of track to make it a four lane. There we go. That was a long minute. Right. It looks like you've got this right. I'm still interested why you didn't take the bypass. So I want to watch that on the way back when you come back. Obviously this is gonna be important because right now uh, we're only providing one lumber yard, but later on you can actually take two lumber yards. I think we'll need that to hit full cog production. Okay, here you come. Get in there. Pick up the logs.
You, you took the other path again. I, did I do something wrong with this? It, the path is there. We'll delete that, and I'm just going to delete this piece of track. What am I actually going to do? Let's put a complete and utter bypass in. They should want to take this naturally, because it'll be a shorter and faster route most of the time. Not entirely guaranteed, though. Wrong way. There we go. And we all then want to put in There we go. Hopefully they take it. Okay, you cross to there. Nom 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 nom. You're turning back again. <sighs> Why are you turning back? I could force this. I could force... Um... Like, that's in only. That's out only. Uh, that would be... That's out only, that's in only? Something like that. Okay. Why is this a problem? Why is this a problem? Is it because you're like slightly overhanging this or something? It's the same reason you couldn't change over before, right? To the waypoint. And it seems to indicate it's fine. Do you tell me what the problem is? No path. Oh, well, the game seems to have a path. why I'm deleting quite so much. It's a little bit unnecessary. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring all this back to here. Give them a bit more space so we can play around with them. I'll give you like a little bit extra space and then... Boop. Boop. It might be just you didn't have enough space or something. One way, yes. That's your out. That's your back in. That's your out. That's your back in. Uh, that's one way. Done. Did you like that? You seem happier about it. Okay, I don't know why. Maybe it's just you need this little bit of space that's straight before the, the end of the track. Now 
Now, it's going to be hard to confirm while you're in the station. But you should go straight here. Nice, you're leaving the station. You're going to wait because you haven't fully cleared it. And you did take the straight line. We fixed it. Problem solved. And those are large piles of cogs. Okay, let's look at our rates. Uh, rate of cogs is pretty low. We could do with upping that. Rate of steel is horrific. Honestly, it needs to be doubled. Really? We will double it then. Where's my cog train? Oh, hello! We have a pileup! You want to turn this way and you want to turn that way, so effectively they've locked each other in place. Okay, uh, what we need to do is get rid of these crossing points because this is not long enough to fit um, a train on. It's very unlikely for this to happen, but it can happen. It just has to happen perfectly. Perfectly wrong. So we're going to have to delete those crossing points. They still lock. Sure. Uh, easiest way to... Oh, damn. I wish I could undo. Please don't make me reconstruct everything. We need to put that crossing back in. I have to move everyone out of here. Ah, right. Okay, this is actually going to be frustrating. You need to turn around. You're going to need to turn around. you need to clear the cross. Oh god, okay, this is just awful. You will eventually come back, you'll find a way around, so that's okay. Oh no. I might have just permanently balked this. I wanna, can we fit in a really like cheeky line in here? No. Okay, this is completely broken everything. Uh... Temporary line, fix my issues. Reverse you. Okay, we can delete you now. Okay, can you move? You're still, you know what? I'm just gonna have to delete the train. It's a steel cog train. Uh, hopefully that just fixes everything and this will never happen again. And we will never mention it. 
I have the money, I can do that. Okay, uh, we'll pin you as well. Oh, hello. A lot of stuff going on there. And, ah, we've got the same issue down here. Should be okay once you leave. So you leave, you move, then you move. Once you've cleared that, you're free to move, you're free to move. Okay. And who are you? Are you waiting for someone? I don't know what you're here for. You're meant to be steel to cog, but... Steel comes off at the other terminal. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Are you waiting for a gap? I'll give you a reverse. Nope, you can't reverse. I'll give you a reverse. There we go. Don't know why they all locked up there. Hopefully that's fixed it for now. But, either way, We are filling up with cogs. And some steel. Steel slowed down by the fact that we completely messed that up. But steel nonetheless. Uh, right. You're going to wait a little longer, but you are almost there on cogs. Ooh, one thing to watch out is we do have the same setup down here. This might cause issues. I think it's unlikely to. Just in case I will delete those signals. Okay. Now, we don't have uh, bus networks, oh, sorry, truck networks set up to distribute the cogs. So currently we're not actually taking them to the rest of the town. That's something we will change. That'll be next episode. I think we'll also allow ourselves to go forwards and date a little bit. Okay, getting up to a 42 there. I'm happy you're working. The one we've really got to watch out for is uh, some of the steel trains. Oh, hello. Um, you are an electric train. Oh, just managed to get past each other. Uh, and a new passenger car. A 
lot of waiting being done up here. Ooh, wait, is that two trains coming in side by side? Hey! Neat! That's really cool! Have a look at this. Look at them! That's what you call teamwork. Slightly ahead on the other one because it's got a bit more acceleration and power. Though it is looking very old. Oh! And we just flip around. There we go. And you sold some cogs. Good for you. Okay, I'm happy you're working now. Uh, the exit is always fun from here because you've got all that little like crossing area. Wee. Oh, hello. Vix Victoria. That looks like a cargo. And a Daimler deck seat car. Ah. Will you get through this junction without problem? Looks like a yes. Okay, I am pretty pleased with that. Where is the airport? Hi. That line, is it making money? It, it is making money. Surprisingly enough, not a huge amount, but it is actually making almost 60K. Can we find out where this uh, vehicle is? Meow, hello. One person on board. How much do they pay? They must pay a lot. Oof. That brick there, 1.5 mil. Let's see just how much one person pays. Twenty K. Okay. Hi there. Two people on the way back. It's not a particularly profitable route. Uh, I think the most profitable is going to be when we get proper cargo and we start doing um, stuff like this bread to places that just can't get hold of it. That's going to be where we make some real money. Hell, we could even go to Greybring on that. Okay. How are you doing? Supply 200. What are you currently stopped by? I think you're stopped by the amount of steel you've got. I guess we just need our steel trains to get a little bit more frequent. Uh, they are. It will just take them a while to actually realize that. Like, there we go. Full steel train coming. I suspect you're both steel trains here. Yep. So they're going to take a while. How about you? Ah, right. You are starting to level up. We do need you to level up. That's one of the issues. You're getting there. Oh, and this is a mess. Okay. Yeah, look how many trains are having to slow down for each other here. The good news is we are still making enough steel to be able to level you up. The Flying Scotsman, the A3, and the Dornier Merker? Let's have a quick look at those before we end the episode. So 
So you are passenger and you are all cargo. So a few more people, a bit faster, much more power. The Vickers Victoria, eight cargo. Hmm. We might be able to make use of that at some point. Very expensive though. And the Flying Scotsman. From what I recall, that's just passenger, really. Uh, power trains from London via York and Newcastle to Edinburgh and back via the East Coast Main Line. Both trains left Edinburgh and London stations at 10 a.m. 75 miles an hour. Insane power. Again, our cargo is capped at 50, so eh. The power's great. The acceleration is fantastic. Um, you? Ooh. Oh my. This. This is what we want for our cargo. Because it's 47. That's three miles an hour down, which is a shame. But look at that power and that attractive effort. Like, we're getting three times the power. That acceleration is going to be amazing. We're going to need to have a cantilever line, but that is so good. We might end up wanting to change over and have a few crocodiles. It's a lot more expensive though. We're looking at three times the price and upkeep. But the acceleration on that, part of the issue we're having, right, is every time someone gets here and slows down, it takes them a long time to speed up again. That would give us three times the acceleration. Uh, well, it's three times the power. It might not end up being three times the acceleration. You get the idea. It'd be fantastic. Like, look at this. That would be so good. And the, the costs are so high. But, and it would also speed up journey times as well. Um, I'm pretty tempted to do that on any train that effectively goes through here. Maybe on some other trains, but mostly those ones. Uh, that would mean I need to upgrade all the lines. Oh. I wonder, can we do a line upgrade? Ooh, hello. High speed track. Okay. That's nice. Can we do like a track upgrade? Okay, upgrade to high speeds. Upgrade for electrification. Can we upgrade in the station itself? We can. Okay, I guess between episodes I might just spend like all of our money electrifying at least the important parts of the line. For now, I've been Nerolissium. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, like and not subscribe, please consider subscribing. This is in place. I don't know if it's going to be profitable yet. We need a few buildings to level up. And once you actually... Oh, you are leveled up. Okay. We need more lumber. Uh, we got here for it. It's a bit of a weird trip. I'm not certain. I'm not certain how to do that. Uh, that's one set of lumber. Where's the other lumber? Like, we can just go to suppliers and be like, hey. Yes, obviously. Here. Here. Ugh. The distance you'd have to travel with that lumber. Yes, I realize there's a lot of lumber over here. Potentially here. Um, yeah, I think it might be this one, which is kind of strange because we're going from the back of Dahlgren to get there. It just feels wrong. I don't know how best to do the wood. For now, I'll have to think about it. But never let's see him like subscribe and stay shiny.